It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. Welcome back to my channel. And today is another edition of Get Fit With Me series, but it is the meal prep edition. Um, we are doing this, um, I am doing this a day earlier than normal, but hey, we still gotta do it because, yeah, a lot of food that I buy for meal prepping, just full disclosure, I don't buy for what I would normally cook, so it's either meal prep or it's not happening. And the food's just gonna go bad and it's gonna go the way. So there's that. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna make two things today. Um, I'm gonna make a tortellini and vegetable soup with um, pesto. So we're gonna do a soup. I wanted to get this soup recipe kind of out of the way before the weather just stays nice. Um, Chicago right now can't seem to make up its mind. Um, it snowed earlier today and now the sun's back out and it's not snowing anymore and it's supposed to be going back up to the 50s again. So, you know, that's kind of how that goes. Um, and then the other thing I am making also is a steak, mushroom, and spinach rice bowl. Well, as we know, I love to sub things. So the steak is not really gonna be steak, it's gonna be Satan, because I had steak last week. And we know I only do steak or meat that's not like a fish or something, only like once a month of that. <laughs> and lately it's been even less than that. So we already did that, so we can't do that. So instead it's gonna be Satan. So it's gonna be a meat that is similar to a meatless, substitute basically and then the spinach we already know i don't like buying spinach because spinach goes bad too quickly so we're going to be doing kale instead so it's going to probably change the texture and feel of the recipe but i am a little bit more confident this time around because both recipes we're doing is actually out of this meal prep book so we're gonna get to it Okay, so the first one that we're gonna do first is we're actually gonna do the tortellini um, and vegetable soup with the um, pesto. And we're gonna go with that first just because that's gonna be kind of the easiest one to get through because it's not a lot of prepping per se. It's just a lot of just like the food cook on its own type thing. Um, but before we go any further, you know what we gotta do, wash these hands. And for those who saw the previous video, um, I do want to kind of preface um, because I did try to edit it the best I could, but the shirt that I had on, uh, it just, because it's so black, it captures anything and everything on it. So it probably looks like, I probably look like a bum cooking and I was kind of high key irritated that that's how it looked. But anyway, we're gonna get past it. I am gonna grab a couple more things cause I did forget to get a couple more things. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay. Don't mind me, that's just me being naturally clumsy. Um, those who know me or have been on the channel long enough know that I am a very non-graceful person. I'm just trying to grab all the ingredients. I thought I had all of them, but then I realized as I was getting started, no, I don't. Okay, so I'm not gonna multitask as much this time around because I think I'm gonna do these videos separate moving forward because it's actually easier for me and it makes it where the editing is as annoying and less likely I'm going to mess up the recipe and I could focus on it better. So right now we are going to do the tortellini and vegetable soup. I, I think I'm gonna break down this video into two parts. So I kind of just wanted to say that. Okay, so first thing it calls for is bacon. It's two slices of bacon finely um, cooked, finely um, chopped. Well, again, we prefaced before. I'm actually gonna use this product, it's vegan. 
It's not actual real bacon, but it has the flavor. We're gonna go with that first. Fat to it to make it do what it needs to do. So I'm reading this. Yeah, I'm gonna need to add some fat. Um, so I am gonna add just a tad bit of oil so that I can do this. And we're gonna do, okay. so we know we're gonna use my favorite knife because I always use that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and slice this. So it's chopped fine. So we're gonna definitely chop it as fine as we can. All right, and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil, not a lot, just so that and this says to heat it on um, medium heat. And I'm supposed to do it for five to seven minutes. And then after that, we're gonna stir in the onions and carrots until it's softened. That's gonna be for another five minutes. So, and one thing I do like about this cookbook in comparison to like um, some of the internet recipes is it breaks it down to parts usually with the exception of that one recipe last week that we worked with. Uh, so now we're gonna, and you know me, I'm a shallot girl. I'm not really a regular onion girl. So, and it calls for one onion finely chopped. So instead of doing one onion, we're gonna do uh, the shallot thing. I'm gonna clean this off because I don't know if I can use this shallot. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna. Okay, let's go ahead and discard that. Ugh. So let's get the other shallot here. So by the time we chop these though, should be good. So that's gonna be nice. Bacon is baconing. And I'm not putting a timer on right now at this point because five minutes is gonna go by really quickly. About the time I get this prepared, it's gonna be already that. Um, the carrots, I won't have to worry about as much. Fortunately, um, I brought carrots that um, already pre-sliced. So we're good on that. So that's one less thing we're going to worry about. So yeah, about the time we get this together, it's not going to be as much of a thing. And then make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Can you guys see okay? Yep, you guys can see. Just making sure. Cool. Oh, lost a guy. Let's get into that one. And it says to chop finely. Oh, I'm losing them. I don't, I'm not as concerned about it being even, but since it's in the soup, I am trying my best to do the best I can here with this. Okay. So that, for the most part, looks good, I think. Oh yeah, so. It's already been about five minutes, believe it or not. That was, that kind of came and went. <clears throat> and I wanted to grab a thing here. Oh yeah, it's already getting crisp. 
tamari smell and that bacony smell. So I'm going to also grab, so I have my carrots here. And like I said, I already got carrots that are pre-done here. So we're good on that. Oh yeah. I wish I can give you this aroma, 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 aroma through the screen here, but I kind of can't do that. So it's peeled and chopped. So this is sliced. I'm going to go ahead, actually, I am going to end up chopping this up a little bit more, but I do at least have a head start. So let's at least get the onions in here. I'm using my large cutting board because, yep, we mean business today, guys. We mean business. Okay, and it's about two carrots. So I not sure how many carrots are in here. I'm trying to see portion wise what to say. It's not really telling me. Alright, I think I'm gonna make it until about this is to me looks like two carrots, right? I think it does. So, we're gonna, so, oh yeah, now you kind of already seeing why I'm using this large, um, knife, since we're using onions, not onions, but carrots, carrots are kind of hard to chop. trying to get this together here like so Woo! well one already went in there <laughs> how about that it didn't say finally chopped so i think the um, chunks of the carrots can be a little bit like larger so i think this is all i'm gonna do it, yeah again this is a soup so i'm not as concerned about it i might have too much carrot but we'll find out I'm going to stir this a little bit because I feel like my onions are cooking a little bit quicker than I want. And then also the bacon definitely cooked. The bacon's are the bacon's baconing. I should have got the carrots in there a little bit beforehand. I am going to turn it down just a tad bit because it said medium, but child, it needed less than that. Okay. So now we're going to do that. And then the next thing it says, stir, stir in garlic cloves and oregano. I don't have oregano, so I'm going to use a different spice instead. Um, I'm actually probably going to use thyme because I like thyme more personally. So I'm going to use thyme. And it calls for dried oregano, so I've used dried thyme. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get the onions. Uh, not the onions, but the garlic. It calls for three garlic cloves. I'm... Mm, I'm gonna do four. I'm gonna do four. I, you know, for me, I like more garlic than less. Yeah, I'm gonna do four. All right. And I'm just gonna double check to make sure my other recipe isn't called for. Okay, I can put this away. Alrighty, next, while we're waiting, because we can do some other things while we're waiting. It does call for one zucchini. I actually brought two because I wasn't sure if it really did call for one, but it definitely just calls for the one. For that. <clears throat> okay, so it's seeded and we're cutting into halves. So I don't think I'm going to seed. Like, I don't understand what it means by seeded. But I'm going to, for one, I'm cutting these ends off. And I think this is kind of halves. Lengthwise seated. I'm thinking we're doing this. This is just me guessing, because I don't really, I. 
and then this, and then we slice it after that. I think that's what it means. So then from there, then we go like this. Because I'm looking at the way it is in the recipe book. Because there is a picture of the finished product, so I'm going based off what the finished product looks like. So we're going to do this. I think that's what they mean, just like that. And I want to get the tortellini ready. I still need this to simmer. So until it simmers. Um, so the timer doesn't start until the simmer happens. So there's that. And the other thing we're going to get ready to go. Ahead of time. Is the tortellini. I'm not doing tortellini. I'm actually doing ravioli. And I chose <laughs> lobster ravioli. So we're gonna make this a little bougie. And you're probably like, wait a minute, lobster, that's not, that's meat. Well, I'm pescatarian, I'm not vegetarian. And yes, so we're gonna make this kind of bougie. So this is what we're gonna do next. But right now, we're not really doing that until things are simmered. So I'm thinking for now, we will let the magic of television happen or the magic of me just editing and YouTubing where we'll, I'll, I'll catch you back when things have progressed. So there's no need for you to be waiting along with me. That's a little much, bit much, there's that. So yeah. All right, through the magic of television, um, 10 minutes is up. So now um, we're going to stir in the zucchini and the um, tortellini, which we know in my case, I'm not using that. I'm using the ravioli. So we're stirring that in. And we're gonna let that simmer for about five to seven minutes. I'm gonna give it a whole seven. Um, and then after that, it's done. So. I'm gonna magic a television this and show you the finished product in the meal prep kit. Okay? Okay. Bye for now. All right, so um, as I mentioned, I said we're gonna get back to the tortellini um, vegetable soup. And it's done, it's definitely done. It's definitely good to go. I'm gonna actually use a different spoon. I actually have like a ladle that I'd rather use to make sure I get the portions right. And I'm just gonna try to get it all together in order. So this is kind of what it's looking like. Keep in mind, it's lobster ravioli. So yes, it's going to be good. I'm trying to get the portions where they're all like, you know, the way you want it to be. I'm going to be so excited when I have some of this because in my head and heart of hearts, it's going to be so good. All right. So this is like the kind of like the portions of all of it and how I have it looking. I'm actually should move this out the way for now because we don't care about that, right? We care about the good stuff. And then now we still have like a ravioli. I want to make sure I have the even amount. There's three in these two. I don't, can't tell if there's three in this one. I think there's only two. There's only two. I'm searching for the ravioli now because I think one of them may not have the ravioli. 
Yeah, this one is gonna have as much ravioli, so that's okay. This one will have the other ravioli. I'm just trying to make sure I like, you know, a good amount on each portion. Because the last part that we're gonna do, because you're probably like wondering, okay, it's called pesto. We top it off with the pesto at the very end. And so I'm gonna top it off and then contain it. It's gonna be so good. But right now, I'm just trying to ladle it all out evenly. Okay, this one's definitely more soupy. I'm high key glad I'm doing this today versus Sunday. This child. All right, so this is what it's looking like. Um, and then the pesto, all I'm doing is grabbing another fork, not fork, spoon. Wow, I still grabbed the fork. I was trying to grab a spoon. You're probably like, why do you struggle like this? Now you actually saw why I struggled. Because my stand is right where that will be. So, and see, we top it off. So this is one with the pesto. And we're just gonna top it off with the others too. And I pretty much use the rest of my pesto. So this was kind of a nice um recipe to do if you're trying to get rid of some of like your pantry um ingredients you know and you don't know what else to use it for one thing i actually want to maybe add to it and i'm thinking about it but i might add it to something else because i have another pantry recipe i have another thing that's i haven't really used for anything else i'm kind of curious to i'm not gonna use it for this i'll try it for something else Um, I have artichoke hearts, and I'm not someone that eats artichoke hearts, hearts regularly, but I do have a salad I'm cooking later this week that I might add it to that, and it'll be good that way. But anyway, this concludes the meal prepping for the tortellini and vegetable soup of pesto. Bon appétit, guys.